Aren't you bothered that they're asleep? I'm so glad because last night I had to do a, a training call for my work and they were up super late. I went upstairs and thought, oh, how cute. They're all sound asleep. It wasn't cute. It was 1030. And I walked in the room and they asked, did you bring pizza, mom? I said, did I bring pizza for what? And they go, Paul fell asleep. He didn't feed us. We thought you went to go get us pizza. So we came down and we made some quick little tacos and everybody went to bed about two and a half hours too late. So their little eyes were so red tonight and Isaac's got a runny nose and Emily, she quit crying after a while and just went ahead and did it. So I'm glad that they're asleep because tomorrow they have to present this in front of the class and that's going to take a lot of energy for little teeny kids. So. Being asleep, I don't think this is like being unfair, you know. It's not like a Pinewood Derby where the dads do it all and the kids are supposed to do it. So, I think it's okay if the teacher asks, I will say yes. I actually glued everything on after they placed them. But look what a good job Emmy did with hers. I mean, she knew exactly where she wanted. And actually, Isaac was more particular about where the pictures went than Emily was, so... Hopefully I did it right, and they'll be happy in the morning when they get up. Okay, so here is Isaac's, the hummingbird, which is funny that Emily did the fox and Isaac did the hummingbird, but whatever. And then Joseph comes in like at 9.30 with a poster board, and he goes, okay, time to do my project. I said, oh, when is your project due? He said, not till Friday. I said, good, today is Tuesday. Go get in bed. So that's how we're doing you know, the end of the school year, okay, so just today, Grace had auditions for a touring dance company that tours all over the western U.S. Paul had two separate basketball practices. Michael had that regional basketball game. And then the, the babies or the little ones, Emmy and Isaac, had their reports. And yesterday they had to do um, these assessments for a new charter school that they're going to go to. I mean, like, May is almost worse than Christmas. Except at Christmas, I try to buy matching pajamas for like 30 plus people. And so that gets a little crazy. But May is just about as bad. So we'll see how well they do tomorrow morning if they can stay awake. They'll probably have red eyes and be teary. But I'm proud of them. Their first attempts, I'll tell you, that is a big deal. I mean, even Emily, you can see how her heart wasn't in it at first. And then by the end, she did an amazing, amazing job. I mean, Emily's our little micro preemie. And so... She didn't even have to breathe and beat on her own at first. We did everything. I mean, machines did everything for her. And then even Isaac, even though he's nine months younger than her, even in class he takes care of her. So this is kind of Emily's first year where she's learning that she has to do a few things herself. And so she kind of plugged in on this after she got started. And Emily, I mean, and Isaac was so cute. He was like putting his little finger in between each word, making sure that they were you know, space just right and really, I think this is amazing for a little seven and eight year old. I'm not really the mom anymore that pushes with my first baby. Yeah, I mean, he had swimming lessons at 10 weeks old, 10 months old, he was using <laughs> words. I was teaching him how to teach your baby to read the poor child. And now I'm like, oh, let's just love and hug each other. So, okay, I'm going to bed now because tomorrow's just as crazy. That up. Appreciate it. Okay, Mr. Isaac, we're going to have you go first. Okay, oh, Isaac, wait. You're going to read your report first because we want to hear how everybody is awesome writing. Writers, here you go. Not turn, turn. They are very small. They can be green and red and white. They live in Alpine. They need nectar for their from the flowers. Hummingbirds can go to a thousand flowers in one day. That's an interesting fact, isn't it? That was an awesome one. That was one of the first facts Isaac came up and said, Look, Mrs. Keller, look what fact there is. And he, he, that was a really cool fact that they can go to so many flowers. Is a hummingbird getting nectar? This is, um, this is a dime, and this is a hummingbird's nest. 
the diamond would be as big as this desk. Okay. Do you want to read any of that that you wrote? Because you took time to write that for this poster. And that's great. You want to come over here and I'll help you? Okay. The tiniest bird. It's the tiniest bird. They are about three inches long. They have they have less, less feathers than other birds and can change color when they are flying. They also eat insects. They move their wings 70 times in one second. They hang upside down to sleep. Who knew that about a hummingbird? I thought only bats hang upside down. A hummingbird will hang upside down. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Okay, let's have Emily come. We're going to do... No, not right here. Come on, Emily. Nope, she's here. She's here. She has some special guests here to watch her, too. Okay, Emily, you're going to read your report first. Come over here and stand. Oh, of course, I'm. that's what I'm here for. There you go. Box by Emily. Boxes by Emily. Boxes can have brown, orange, and white. Fur. Boxes sleep in the day. Excellent. Excellent job. So I want you to see how Emily took time to draw her very own pictures of fox and foxes while she was doing her report. And notice how she used the colors that she needed to use, right? To tell about the different colors that foxes can be. So excellent job. Nice job on that. Okay, you're ready to tell your about your poster. Um. This is what a fox looks like. And Dad, what is that fox doing? He's looking at the camera. Oh. And those are baby foxes. And that's a fox's den. And that's a fox eating a watermelon. And that's a fox eating a rat. And that's a bat. You want to know the favorite one I really like? This one. And see, why do you like that one? Those two are so scary, scary that Because um, they're like baby foxes, and there's like, I think a mama fox is right there. Oh, and so she's taking care of those babies? And that's important, isn't it? Very important. Emily, you just did, you did an excellent job. Okay, you guys, how did your reports go? You feel good about how, you, how they did? How you did? What was your favorite part of the report? Foxes. Yeah. The, fo the fox that was looking at the camera, the they both were just staring at my eyes. What was your favorite? Got me a little dizzy. I, 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 I wasn't there. I don't know which one. Hmm. But what did you like about the foxes, Em? They're cute and cuddly. Say it loud so They're I can hear you. They're cute and cuddly. Yeah. Okay, was it fun putting these reports together? Mm -hmm. But we have to work all night. We're not all night. We have, we have to fall asleep. Yeah. Did, you know you guys fell asleep last night. We did? <laughs> yeah. You got early. Yeah. When I hopped into my bed, I was out. When I was in my bed, when I just there was talking in your bed, I just fell asleep. So, yeah. so I got it. Oh, I know what. I need to share something with you. It was so awful. I should have had the camera with me. So yesterday when we went to do the assessments for this new charter school that they got accepted to, so Joseph already goes. And then Grace, Emily, Isaac, and Jacob got accepted this year. So they had to go and have assessments. So 
we get there and I tried to make sure everybody looked cute and darling and their hair done and we talked about obeying and everything and we get into the office and they're like wild animals. They're touching everything, they're looking at everything and I said, let's remember and obey and everybody sit down because everybody obeys at this school. And they gave me truly like 20 pages of paperwork to fill out on everyone. And I mean, the printer ink wasn't working, so we had to go get it. I mean, it was just a crazy getting there experience anyway. So I sit down, I'm sitting like this, working on a clipboard, filling out everything. And all of a sudden, Jackson, the two-year-old, knocks the whole bookshelf over. I'm so glad that I was leaning forward because it probably would have killed me. It was a big metal bookshelf. And, and then the lady says, here, let me help you. And then the administrator who was doing all the testing, who actually let the kids into the school said, you know what? You might have more fun if you're out on the playground with your children and all come and get them one at a time. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to kick us out before we even get in. It's just what May is all about. But anyway, I thought that was pretty pathetic, but pretty real and pretty funny. So it didn't matter how they were dressed. Their behavior was a little silly but grace said that she got every single question right she had never heard of most of the things that they were asked her but of course if you ask her she got everyone right and emily said i did such a good job counting the pennies and jacob gets in there because jacob's really tall he's kind of like elf have you ever seen the movie elf he's like really tall but still likes to snuggle on our laps she goes i took him in and i realized oh this little boy is just a preschooler he doesn't do fractions yet <laughs> no I said, he's lucky to count, and he's just learning how to write his name. His bees still look like an apple, a circle with a stick on the top. So anyway, that was our first experience with all of the children at the new charter school. So we'll see if they still let us in.